squad is here. Helga and Ronnie. I'm Sandra. All my friends in one room. <laughs> now we're gonna go lift some heavy ass weights. Next time. Next, Next time, time Helga will lift. join us. We might PR today, we'll see. session I've had in like a very long time. I PR'd my snatch and my clean and jerk in the same day which has never happened and I ran my fastest mile which I'll share with you guys because I'm really embarrassed at my mile time. It's horrible. Um, I used to run 10, 11, 12 minute miles and when I started doing CrossFit I wanted to get that better so I started running like 9 minutes, 10 minute miles. I just, running is just not a strong point of mine. And remember, I think if you guys follow me on Instagram, uh, I talked about it last week that I've been trying to run a mile every week and try to improve my time. And so last week I ran it in 8.30 and today I ran it in 8.15. And in this hot ass 95 degree weather at 1.30 in the afternoon, not mad about it, so. Bye. Good job, boo. <laughs> I couldn't have done it without you. What are you gonna do? Go home and have a shake. Do you want to hear something funny? Actually, it's probably not funny. If Jeff heard me say it was funny, he would probably be really mad. But Troy decided the other day that when he got pizza, he was going to put it in the oven, like afterwards, you know, just to, I guess that's what people do. They put pizzas in ovens, like to keep them fresh. I don't know, whatever. And then Jeff was like, you better put a note on that because she's going to turn the oven on and she's going to burn the house down. And I was like, no, I will not. I will remember the pizzas in there. I don't even need to use the oven tomorrow. So whatever. And I was like all crappy. So then they made a, like a joke note Note and they left a note on the oven that said manners there's pizza in the oven and then Troy didn't think that I really needed the note but Jeff knew me too well that I did need the note and so he took the note off leaving the pizza in the oven and what did I do change my mind and decided I wanted sweet potato fries and turned the oven on and almost burned the house down note to self 
check the oven before you uh, preheat it. Anyways, welcome to today's little uh, portion of the video, which is going to be a protein cupcake and protein icing recipe, which I'm going to be using from the Flexible Dieting Lifestyle, my friend Zach. He makes good recipes. Um, I've kind of tweaked them a little bit. I talked before about the uh, crunch wrap that I've made from him. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description if you guys want to check him out. He's a good friend of mine, and he makes pretty cool recipes, although his seem to always come out way better than mine do. I know a lot of you feel like you have the same problem. So that being said, today uh, I figured I would make 4th of July themed protein cupcakes. And I think this is a great way to talk about going out to eat or out to like, you know, social gatherings for 4th of July. Personally, I'm very lucky because Jeff's mom can't eat gluten. So she's very picky with her food. And she knows that I'm the same way with the IBS and just not being able to eat like a lot of things that, you know, the boys like to eat. So she always makes me stuff that's plain and she gives me the recipes and I'm just very fortunate fortunate in that sense but I know a lot of you ask me all the time like what do you do if you go to a barbecue and you don't know what's in the food and there's two ways that I like to look at this the first way is it. The 4th of July is only once a year, you know, if you are not cutting for anything and you don't have a specific need to be like super, super strict, who cares? Just enjoy yourself. Be mindful of the food that you're eating. Um, if you know that you're eating hot dogs, which are way high in fat and high in sodium, maybe just decide to have chicken breasts for dinner or something like that. Just compromise with the food that you're eating. Um, or the second option is to just guess, you know, if you have been tracking macros for a long period of time and you know that, like I just said, hot dogs are really high in fat chicken breast is really low in fat maybe you pick the chicken breast over the hot dogs I don't know I can't tell you what to do but what I will say is I made a 4th of July dessert a triple layer um, like dipping you no know, bake kind of dessert and I knew I wasn't gonna be able to eat that because it was like whipped cream and heavy whipping cream and all kinds of dairy stuff so I decided that instead I was going to bring my own cupcakes for fun which nobody like took offense to I just wanted to try these cupcakes out right so the first batch came out okay but I'm going to try to Today's recipe with the snickerdoodle flavor of PE Science because let's be honest, nobody drinks PE Science. It tastes like garbage. Uh, <laughs> at least I think it does. I would never in a million years drink PE Science on its own. It's so chalky and clumpy and gross, but it is good to bake with because it is a casein blend. I have done enough talking. We're going to get into the cupcakes and I will show you guys everything that you need. All right, so we got our dry ingredients. We got coconut flour, PE Science Snickerdoodle protein, and then uh, the Trivia Baking Blend. You can use whatever sweetener you would like. And then we have some egg whites, vanilla almond milk, pumpkin puree, and applesauce. So we're going to start with the dry ingredients and then we're gonna add in the wet ingredients and that will be the batter. <laughs> doesn't call for this but I think that this is a great addition to it just some cinnamon cinnamon sugar and vanilla just because the protein powder taste can be a bit overwhelming it's perfect for just making five little cupcakes so I'm gonna put them, oh I should, oh okay. Well, probably could have sprayed them because last time when I did this, they got stuck to the paper, but that's okay. So these are gonna go in the oven for about 11 minutes at 400. While those are baking, we're going to get started on the protein icing, which you will need some vanilla extract, some Jello cheesecake sugar-free fat-free mix, um, one-third fat Philadelphia cream cheese, non-fat Chobani yogurt, and some sweetener of your choice. And then I'll be topping mine with some blueberries and some sprinkles, most likely, just because I love sprinkles so much. So. This protein 
frosting is actually like one of my favorite things to make because you get some protein from the Greek yogurt, some from the uh, low fat cream cheese, and it kind of just reminds me of like a cream cheese frosting that you would get on a carrot cake but just with way less fat. Ask me because of my IBS, like I can't have full fat dairy products, but some things like skim milk or skim cheeses, like in this case the low fat cream cheese, doesn't bother my stomach. And again, keep in mind, it's one serving of 30 grams for five cupcakes. Um, I'm sure that if I ate 30 grams like out of the spoon, I would probably get a stomach ache. I find that with my, I guess, intolerances, the skim milk is way less like, you know, painful on my stomach than whole fat milk. So if you have IBS, you may not be able to eat any dairy whatsoever. Uh, but you know, for me, my random trigger that not very many people have, uh, is raw carrots or raw bell peppers. So it's not like a one size fits all, everybody's different. So just keep that in mind when you are watching my recipes. These are good. I'm gonna take them out so they don't cook even more. You can see how they kind of stick to the like side of the little cupcake pan, but it's all right. They don't have to be pretty. I'm gonna pop these in the freezer. Once these have cooled down a bit, these are not the most beautiful looking cupcakes though. Just so you guys know, they're not gonna come out we're gonna top with some sprinkles because sprinkles make everything better. Oh, look at how cute they are. Look at this. So cute. Macros right there. Fantastic macros for one of these little guys. Now we have the taste test, which these guys kind of shrunk a little bit, like they got kind of flat. They're still like a little bit dry. I don't know if maybe they need more applesauce or, but that's what the inside looks like. I don't know if you guys can see that. For six grams of protein, actually I think it's seven with the protein icing, and like the fresh blueberries, it's a really good way to satisfy your sweet tooth without wasting all your macros. And that was the purpose of this recipe. So again, if you're looking for like a decadent, delicious cupcake, not gonna lie to you guys. It doesn't quite fit that mold, but it's not horrible. It just tastes like a muffin, slightly cinnamon flavored, but the icing is where it's at. So that is where I'm going to end today's video. Thank you so much for watching and giving the video a thumbs up if you did, I appreciate it. Uh, the reason why I include this recipe in today's video is because so many of you guys said that you really liked the recipes and meal prep, but you wanted more like snack, easy on the go things. So this was kind of me testing it out. So let me know what you thought. With that, I am heading out. I gotta do some errands. So I will catch up with you guys in the next video. I love you so much. See you in the next one.